My name is uh, Mike Plafkin. I'm the captain of the Echo Hose Firehouse here, um, also known as Fire Headquarters. I've been the, this is my second term as captain, and I've been a firefighter here for uh, 10 years. We were initially dispatched to uh, 446 Howe Ave for activated smoke detector. It's a mixed use building, three floors of apartments, and the first floor is businesses. Upon arrival, the crews went to check that detector. They found no, no signs of smoke or fire, no issues. And while they were exiting the building, they decided to check the basement area just to do a thorough check of the building like we usually do. So through further investigation, we went to go check the flooding, uh, how much damage there was to the uh, commercial businesses on the bottom floor of the uh, Howe Avenue building. And uh, as we started working our way through to the basement on the other side, we saw a sign of smoke. And it was at that point that Captain Plavkin uh, had them put out the box and tone it out for a possible working structure fire. You know, when we walked in, we were able to see clear as day. There was a light haze, not too much. And within five seconds, the smoke was down to the ground, went in and we started pulling people out. I've never seen fire move that quick in my life. The next thing you know, it was over our heads underneath us. I remember feeling my knees burn from the fire coming up through the floor. And they actually pulled us out of the building because the floor was unsafe. Ten seconds later, the building collapsed in front of us, right where we were standing. The outreach to the residents started before the fire was even over. And you just look around and you see all these displaced residents. So the first thing we did, we got back here, we were probably sitting down for about a minute or two. And you know what, we got up, we set up tables, we started making coffee and started doing everything from them just during the initial fire itself. The outpour from the community, the, the, all the help and assistance was amazing. I mean, you would come in here one day and we have, you know, a table full of clothes and food. The next day we have, you know, five tables. The next day we had eight tables just filled with piles high of donated clothes and food and everything for these residents to, you know, give them what they lost. I can tell you that every single structure fire that we've ever had, you've seen red jackets flying around somewhere with the Red Cross logo on them. And they weren't just helping the residents, they were asking us, you know, is it, you know, do you guys need a break? Do you guys need anything? You know, we're here to help. We're here to help you guys too. Rescuing all 30 people and having minor injuries was, was definitely an outstanding feat. For that many people to be rescued, not to have any, any casualties or any serious injuries is, is just remarkable. So I can't ask for a better job or a better group of guys.